Hey what's up, in this video I'll be unboxing and reviewing the Samsung T7 SSD in blue. Now there's a lot to this SSD so make sure you watch it till the end to see how it performs and decide if it's the right choice for you. The box is very descriptive while still being sturdy in terms of protection from shipping impacts. It has a 3 year limited warranty like it says here printed along with a list of compatible devices and also the contents of the box. Nothing very important on the back. But on this side we have the dimensions along with a few specifications of the T7. Now Samsung does make a fancier T7 touch with a fingerprint lock in addition to the hardware encryption and password protection that's seen on this guy too. But I would recommend buying that only if you're planning to store very sensitive data on it. Otherwise you're just better off going with the regular T7. It's gonna save you some cash while still not missing out on anything really. Samsung's packaging here is a bit different with the T7, it's kind of box inception. Before we get to the SSD, let's put this box with the cables aside, but here's the SSD. It's a much brighter and deeper shade of blue than the T5, and it is still cold to touch out of the box. And while that's chilling out there, uh, let's have a look inside this box. First things, the documentation which you might want to refer to if you're planning to use Samsung's included software. Then there's the USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C to Type-C cable with a neat illustration. With a similar illustration, there's also a Type-A to Type-C cable included. But sadly, there's no Velcro this time. Come on, Samsung, we have to keep these cables organized. Now coming back to the SSD, this one has an all-metal design, just like the T5 with the USB-C port and status LED on the side. On the T7, this surface is metal too, unlike the T5, on which this is plastic. On the bottom, there's printed some legal marks along with the capacity. Samsung's rated this one at gigabyte speeds for both sequential read and sequential write, but these speeds are only for the USB 3.2 Gen 2 devices, which means that it's only the very recent devices that will see these speeds. But with this standard, it's almost 10 times faster than the conventional hard disk drives. And the reason behind the speed is the NVMe flash drive that Samsung's using here on the PCI Express bus, which is twice as fast as the V9 devices in the T5. And this also makes it shock resistant, which is a big deal with these conventional hard disk drives. There's also an improved thermal guard for heat dissipation, since that's essential with these dimensions. Talking about dimensions, the T7 comes in just at 85mm by 57mm. All of this while just being 8mm thick. This is an insanely small profile that is absolutely stunning. Plus, it just weighs 58 grams, making it feel almost like nothing in your hands. It comes pre-installed with software compatible with PCs and Macs. This is pretty neat and helpful to manage the drive for backups and many more things. The Android counterpart to this is also available on the Play Store. Yes, I did say Android. The T7 can be connected to mobile devices in addition to PCs and Macs. And as a matter of fact, it can also be hooked up to gaming consoles. And all of this goodness is available in three colors, which I personally feel look much better than the T5's color options. They also come in three different capacities, 500 gigabytes, one terabyte, and two terabyte. Now comes the time to test the speeds. For that, we set up the Blackmagic Design disk speed test with a 1GB load. On a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, the transfer speeds went up to 900MB per second read and 850MB per second write. But with a USB 3.2 Gen 1 port, these went only up to 255MB read and 355MB write. Now these speed tests are usually not too accurate, so we also did try transferring files to and from the T7, which was actually a breeze. A 16GB folder on the Gen 1 port took just 50 seconds to transfer. And this is not even its full speed. With a Gen 2 or newer port, this same folder can be copied in just under 10 seconds. So that leads me to say that the T7 is indeed the Ferrari of flash drives. Its speed is just too good to believe. While I've not got a chance to test it out with a console, there really shouldn't be any issue with that. It can also be comfortably used as a scratch disk for editing photos and videos. Eventually, the T7 is the best option only if you have a device compliant with the USB 3.2 Gen 2 or newer standard. Right out of the box, it's formatted as an XFAT disk but it can be easily reformatted for any application. XFAT is usually the standard for larger capacities and also cross-platform compatibility. So it's ready to use with PCs, Macs and Android devices right out of the box. As for the comparison with the T5, we will have another video coming out very very soon. 
So do make sure you've hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell right next to it. I hope you got something out of this video. And if you did not, I'll always be in the comment section down below. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day ahead.